Fast cut, dentist staff, uh, cylinder heads. These are valve job and mild, well, I guess mild bowl work. And then of course the decking. So these are very minimal work, but you get a good bang for your buck for something like that. See how there's not much runner work, right? But the bowl work is where it's all at. And then the spring install, a careful spring height install and uh, those were I think those springs were provided by Ray uh, the, the owner of this engine uh, I think they were tick performance um, something like that anyway that's the heads and I'm going to do a chamber uh, cylinder combustion chamber CC, just so I can know for the records and we'll know exactly what the compression ratio is on this very mild 355 LT1. Put in this little cap. I have some experience like with lab work. Uh, so none of this is kind of foreign to me. These bubbles. Get the bubbles. Okay, we're right to sixty mils. Let's see how my first attempt goes. This has to be. Bent a little back.
It's looking good. You got everything filled up in the chamber, except for, all right, it's in there. There is five cc, six cc, uh, got it upside down, okay. Five cc's left. So that makes it 55, and you can see that there being insignificant. So let's call it 55, maybe 56. Okay, if you wonder, it it's just uh, plus or minus one cc. This isn't done to be exactly precise, so I don't spend time doing every one, but I do know it's the method I use gets me within one cc. So I figure it's 56 cc's for the chamber. So I, the combustion chamber, uh, the compression ratio is going to be 10.9 to 1. Chamber 56, the gasket like about 6 cc's. That's a 0 0.026 inch thick compression height, compressed gasket. The 3.48 stroke, the 5 cc flat top pistons, the piston being in the hole, 0 0.028 average. That gives us 10.93 to one compression ratio. And that's pretty good for a pump gas, 355 cubic inch, mild cam. You can't have too much dynamic compression ratio on your camshaft. Even going from a 10 to one stock motor to 11 to one, call this 11 to one, that it requires a careful like tune of, of course if you were going to do 12 to 1 you would definitely have to have a careful tune so anyway that's nice conservative it helps to give you a little more power with that com every little bit of compression ratio gives you more power so the heads are going on next
happen. All right, check out the witness marks here. Just uh, pretty close to the center of the valve tip and just a hair to the outboard, and that's what I like. 7.200 inch push rods are on order. And that is it for this engine. Uh, this is the end of part three of three. There's a few more things to do. One is to install the customer supplied adjustable guide plates, and that'll put the um, get those rocker tips right at the center of the valve tips and a few things you know like uh, get the push rods on order and installed put the hub on put the oil pan on but that's it for now at the end of the video here i'm going to show you the head flow the stock head flow from dennis staff's uh, fast cat porting service and then the after the pocket porting and valve job flow it's a very reasonable bang for the buck. Uh, it's definitely not CNC cylinder heads, but for stock cylinder heads, excellent bang for the buck. All right, this is Carlisle Wine at Wine Engines. Take care.